Oh, thank you, Chairman. Uh, Dr. Kim, you know, actually I met him uh, two years ago uh, in uh, uh, Moscow for the APEC pre-ministerial meetings over there. So, so uh, this morning when I uh, met him, uh, I was uh, uh, recognized by him that uh, I am his brother. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, thank you. And uh, I feel very honored to, uh, to be invited to uh, present our experience uh, in National Pindong University of Science and Technologies for cultivating international agricultural talents. Uh, in the morning, as mentioned by our Director General, Dr. Uh, Nicole Lee, she mentioned that uh, some of the features of our TVEC in Taiwan, and agriculture is one of the features that she mentioned, so I feel even uh, uh, more confidence to present uh, these topics. But, you know, in these eras, most of the young generations, they, uh, you know, they think about the service industries because they, uh, they can uh, put on very neat uniforms and maybe in a very nice environment to work. They probably think about the high tech. They will probably get high paced from the high tech. But I have to convince you that agriculture is very important. So my presentation will be focusing on agriculture. Especially the term I would like to mention that uh, knowledge based agriculture. This is my uh, outlines. The first part I would like to ask you are you going to encourage your youth to take their careers on knowledge based agriculture? Because I just mentioned that uh, the young generation they probably don't like agriculture, but how can we pers persuade them? to become a members of the agricultural industries. Let me show you some of my points. I would like to recall some of the very interesting memories from the audience, especially the Taiwanese audience. I still remember that when I, very, when I was very young, my parents always gave me the lessons. If you don't start, study hard, then you have to become farmers. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is the, the lesson we always got from our parents, especially those that are sitting in the audience with the same age as I. But here's, I would point out, if nowadays you want to become a modern agriculturist, then you have to study very hard, or otherwise you are not qualified. So, with these arguments that uh, I would uh, point out that uh, agriculture and the future of the world. And now that we talk about the five critical the global issues, but among the five global issues, three related in agriculture we call fuel. What is fuel? Fuel, the first is the food safety and security. Because if, you, if we don't produce any foods and any, any agriculture produce, then you are going to starve this afternoon, this room. And even if you provide any question to the speakers, you won't have any food to eat for lunch. So I think this is the first, the food safety and security. And the second part, energy crisis. We all know that that's, uh, the fossil fuels is going to out. It's going to be out, and then water resources. These are the three very important topics related to agriculture.